Hello and welcome. I am Kim, and together with my dogs, Booby, Pilou, and Wolfie, we live in my self-built camper van, and we are navigating van life and making it our own. Come along, as we say, yes to new van vengers. Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. In last week's video, we introduced you to Wolfie Skyler. She's the newest addition to our pack, and in this week's video, I'm going to show you all about what I'm training her to do and how I'm training it and how she's doing. So we're going, I forgot my glasses. I took a nap. I forgot to put on my glasses. My face feels like naked. <laughs> we're going for a little walk in the woods behind where, I, where I'm staying because I wanted to, it's not that warm, it's warm, but it's not that warm. So I figured we could go for a nice little walk and I would train Wolfia, but we go on the leash because this is her first leash walk this morning I put on the harness that I made for her and now she's on her first leash walk but what I forgot is that I'm not only training Wolfie to go on the leash walk I'm also training myself to juggle three leashes <laughs> totally forgot what a difference it makes if you have two or three leashes in your hand and dogs going everywhere but we'll be fine we're doing great but it is a bit warm so we just went for like, I don't know, what is it, 400 meters, and then we go back, I don't know sure how much that is, but go ahead. But she's enjoying, she's really feisty, she gets these scared modes where she's a bit, like, uncertain or something, but overall, she's a cool, playful, adventurous little girl. So today is day three of having Wolfie. It's Thursday, yeah, day three. It's morning. We had a great night. She slept fun from 10 to 8, which is awesome. And then I woke up before her and I immediately, uh, I waited for her to wake up a little bit and then I took her out so she could play and pee and poo. And I groomed Booby a little bit and I'm trying to train Pilou not to bark as much. And we are now doing leash training. Which, I'm saying leash training, but basically, it's just getting her just to do the leash. And, come Luffy! And her little harness. Good job! Because she's so tiny, and we're, we're now here in April, where she can roam around free around the van. But when we get back to the farm, or when we get back to Zutamir, she cannot. So, she has to be on the leash more. So, it's good getting her adjusted to that. And she's so tiny. And yeah, and um, things I'm training her are, uh, I'm doing a lot. I'm giving her a toothbrush to chew on, so she gets used to the feeling of a toothbrush in her mouth. I'm brushing her when she's starting to get tired and she lays with me, she snuggles with me. I'm starting to brush her very slowly because she needs to get used to being brushed. Her coat needs to get brushed a lot. And so I'm doing that. I'm taking care of the, making sure that she gets just to do the brush. She's eating, she's drinking, she's getting adjusted to her little car seat, which is what she's sleeping in at night. And then when we get in the car tomorrow, she's going to be in there. Tomorrow we're going to go for like basically almost a two hour drive back to Zutamir. So I hope that she'll be okay. I think she will. I'm just going to wait for her to tire out and then we're going to get into the in the van and drive. And um, I think she'll be okay. <laughs> And she keeps walking around me like Pilou always does. Good job. Yeah, so I'm getting her just to do all the things. And then on Friday afternoon, oh, or Saturday, she's going to meet the kids. I have to set up some ground rules. But we're going to get back to work. We're going to go back to the farm. We're working basically every day, but she comes with us. And one of the reasons I chose to get a puppy before I was going to leave is... A, she needs to have her rabies shot before we leave the Netherlands. Come. 
Yeah, it's okay. She needs to have her rabies shot before we need leave the Netherlands, and she has to be uh, like I think 14, 16, 12 weeks. I don't really know, but she needs to be three months minimum to have the rabies shot. And when we travel, if I take her along with me on my travel, she's going to be isolated a lot. And I want her to be very well, how do you say that in English? Socialized. So I want her to be around kids, cats, rabbits, other animals, other people, a little bit busy. I want her to get adjusted to that in a small age. Because if we plan to get back here and work here, she needs to be okay with that. She needs to be okay with kids. <laughs> So yeah, that's why I got her now, and also I'm going to help the kids learn how to go about with a puppy. She's a teeny weeny tiny puppy, so she needs to be handled carefully. Um, yeah, she's, as you can see, I'm just walking, so she's actually walking on the leash behind me. She's doing great. She's so tiny. But yeah, that's our, those are things that we're getting used to. showing you how I taught her how to sit. I'm using a treat to get her attention and keeping it up high so her bum goes down and she sits on her own. And then as she's sitting down on her own, I say the word sit and I release the treat to her. This way I'm not forcing her into any position. She does it on her own and she doesn't know the word sit yet. So I'm teaching her that sit means sitting down on her bum. One of the things that I taught Pilu accidentally was when she sits down, she immediately gives a paw. And this is Whoa, for two reasons. Because one, I taught her to give high fives in around the same time I taught her how to sit. But also it's because she kept putting her foot up and then I would reward her with the treat. So with Wolfie, I'm paying close attention that if she sits down, but she gives me her little paw to like try and get the treat out of my hand. I wait with letting the treat go, and then if she puts her paw down, I immediately let it go, so that she's not teaching herself that her paw is getting the treat out of my hand. As she's getting the hang of it, I'm also adding Wolfie come, because in Dutch, Wolfie come, because I'm going to use that later in the other training, and I'm now saying sit, giving a finger, finger signal, and then when she sits down, giving her the treat. Now Wolfie is only 10 yeah. weeks and a couple of days old here, but she's super clever and getting the hang of things very quick. This makes it very nice to work yeah. with her because you can just spend like half an hour with her and then she knows a new trick. Here's going to be an example of her getting her paw in the air and thinking that she can get the treat sooner and me waiting with releasing the treat. Here's going to be, she's asking and now I wait and then I release the treat when the paws are down on the floor. So she's not teaching herself that she needs to have her paws up to get a treat. As you can see, Booby and Pilu are also engaged in this training and I give them a treat every now and then because it's very important for them to be okay with me training Wolfie. And also when I say sit sometimes, like you can see in a second, Pilu also sits down, so I reward her for that. Good girl, Wolfie. Are you biting my head? Hello. Hello. Hello, Papa Bear. Come and get me. Come and get me. Oh, get the glasses. Hi, sweetie. Hi, sweetie. Is this scary for you? Go back down. Go back down if it's scary. You don't have to do it if it's scary. Hey, hey Boober. Go ahead. Yeah, good boy. He's a good boy. Oh, he's a good boy. Good job. Gee, 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 gee. Sweetie. Next, we're going to teach her to come when I call out her name. 
and I had already begun doing this during the sit training. Now, I have an advantage having more dogs, so she just follows whatever they're doing. And with every training I'm doing, I'm incorporating them as well. So they already know how to come, but I just <laughs> reward them for coming too. Now she's naturally going to want to follow us because it's safe in the pack, but the van is now also a safe zone, so she also tries running back to the van. So with trying to teach her this recall, it's really important for me to keep an eye on where her attention is at the moment. With getting your timing correctly with asking her to come back, you can have a lot of advantage. So with her running past me, you can see me looking at her, seeing what she's doing and then calling her when she's already trying to kind of, she's getting distracted or she's already making a little, little bit of a turn. That's when I get her attention and call her back. So this way I'm teaching her to not run away from me without telling her no for running away from me. I'm just trying to teach her, okay, you are deciding to get further away from us. Just come back, please. And then I'm just teaching her to come back. Now you are seeing me training back to back. That's not what's been going on in real life. Look at her going having the zoomies. Because in real life I get like 10 minutes, 20 minutes breaks in between. If she needs a break to sleep, she needs a break to sleep, I give it to her. But these are just trainings I do throughout the day. Now here's a good example of her running past me and then going into a little circle and then I call her here at this point. So she was kind of doing like a zoomy backflip and stuff. And then, so as soon as she stopped running from us, I get the attention back and I ask her to come back. Now at this point in training, I'm not get, asking her to sit when she comes back. I'm just looking for timing to get her back and teach her to come back and she always gets a treat. When she gets older, it's going to be interval training, but for now she always gets a treat when she comes back. The goal of this training is a very good recall. So it means that if she hears her name, she comes back instantly. After all of the training is done, it's time to get more acquainted with her sister. She's this is the first moment she started playing with Pilou, but from a safe space in my lap. And I just, if I look back at this footage, she is so adorable. She has so much color in her face. She's now a bit bigger. All of her color in her face has <laughs> gone away. And she's been playing nonstop with Pilou right now. But these are the first minutes of interaction they were having. And it was so cute. Pilou loves to play, putting her bum in her face. <laughs> But it's just lovely to look back at this. You can see me push Bobby away here in a sec. And that's just because he comes into the playtime, tells them to go away so he can sit in my lap. And I'm just petting him and saying, just let them play for a sec and you'll be in my lap in like a minute. Now puppies are really mouthy and they want to bite on your hands and on stuff and I don't really mind. I can actually play with them biting my hands because I also I need them to learn not to bite too hard but I also need them to learn that I can touch their mouth everywhere. So that's kind of what I use this for. I use I, I pet everything in their mouth. Once it gets too rough or she starts biting a little bit too hard, I just get a toy or redirect it with a chewing toy or anything and just tell her to chew that. This is also funny. She needs to get used to the camera being in her face. <laughs> She's trying to attack the phone here, which is too cute. Now the scratching you see her do is her getting adjusted to wearing a harness. And even though I really prefer training them off leash, training them on leash is very important as well. Look at how awesome she's already doing this. And this is one of the big advantages to having dogs already that are perfectly leash trained and then getting a new dog. Good morning. <laughs> Welcome back to Epe, the Veluwe, Gelderland, the Netherlands. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's the fourth day with Wolfie, so we had our third night and the night was a little bit more restless because yesterday it started raining around three So we had been hanging out in the van all evening. I did walk her But she didn't run or anything or didn't really play that much. She was sleeping. So around one she woke up She was like, yeah, it's the morning. I'm like, no, it's evening and then I think around three and six or something so I just took her out at six and just laid on my back with her in my 
like on my side but i'm a little bit afraid of letting her sleep outside of her little crate because she's so tiny if i roll over onto her she's gonna be squished or if i if she falls off the bed <laughs> that's not good so i'm gonna see what we're gonna do tonight oh but today we're gonna have an awesome day because tonight we're gonna drive a whole bit back to Zutomir to visit my parents because I want her to meet my parents because those are my backup um, babysitters <laughs> doggy sitters so she needs to have be bonded with them too um, and maybe I'm gonna visit my aunt who also has a really cute puppy she got him on the same day Geisha Maybe we're going to visit her too, but I'm just going to leave that open to see how much she'll be able to handle today. I'm just going to keep an eye on her. But first we're going to say goodbye to Chris, have some coffee with him, and then we're going to hit the road. We just had a walk here in the woods. She's doing leash walking so good. It is so freaking adorable. Another thing I'm working on is hygiene in her little mouth with her little teethsies. So she has two toothbrushes that she's allowed to chew on and we've now gone to putting some toothpaste on there and brushing her teeth. But she really loves this feeling in her mouth now so she's really okay with that. So here we're teaching her that having a toothbrush in your mouth is normal. That the <laughs> Look at her that the, uh, just getting used to the feeling of it and at the same time she is brushing her own little teeth as she's doing this. Now because she is busy brushing her own little teeth and playing with the toothbrush it is uh, a nice moment for me to start brushing her with a normal comb and the other comb I don't know what they're called but there's two combs that I use to get their undercoats out and so I'm carefully doing this and <laughs> and getting her adjusted to being brushed daily. Time has gone and I grew up and somehow made it through without losing sight. Mm -hmm. And I still wonder where you are and if you found a way out from. Stories I've been told They never seem to leave my mind mm -hmm. This road that I am on I gotta stay here for some time mm -hmm. As soon as we got back to the farm where we're working She just clicked with Pilu and they have a big space there to roam around free and they just started playing and they never stopped. They are super best friends. Pilo's actually starting to have a little bit more difficulty handling her because she's getting bigger and she's so feisty. But they are best friends and enjoying life together so much. Now Bobby is also really okay with her being with us but he's not as playful yet. He's more setting boundaries and helping me raise her. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. And in the meantime, don't forget to say yes to new adventures. <laughs>